Welcome to MES e-learning channel. Today in this session, we will be learning about drama from Athens to Broadway. It is drama through the times. Drama is a performance art in which scenes are acted out by performers, generally in some organized way. Now, irrespective of culture or irrespective of time, Drama has been around for a long time and it has entertained people. The Western drama has been shaped by a number of influences over the centuries. And it has all started with the Greek theatre somewhere around the 5th and the 4th century BC. Now the term drama comes from the ancient Greek word to do and to act. And this is where all this tradition began. Now over a period of time this has also changed and uh, the term uh, you know has been going through a different kind of emotions we could say. Now uh, we will see what is this classical drama. Classical drama refers to the theatrical traditions of ancient Greece and Rome and together this forms the foundations of a dramatic performances in the Western cultures. Now these uh, had a very strict kind of organization wherein there was conventions of plot, character, etc. You see any drama today theater if you see that you know uh, the plot is very important that is a storyline and also the characters and even the sequence in which you know you are introducing slowly then there is a climax then there is a solution to the problems etc. For most part we can cate categorize all classical dramas into three types that is either they are a tragedy that is you know usually a sad ending or a comedy with a happy ending and lot of laughter and other things or it could be also be satire plays. Satire is usually it could be political satire or social satire where the dramatist wants to uh, bring out some uh, sort of a nuance in a subtle way uh, and in a humorous way he wants to bring out some things that is happening in the society. And it is also worth noting that uh, the term classical drama refers to the theatre of foundational culture, which would have been there in almost all the cultures maybe in Asia, Africa. But even now when we are talking about uh, uh, classical drama, we refer to the drama of Greece and Rome. The earliest Greek uh, influences in the classical uh, theater that around uh, 700 BC you could see that you know uh, the classical uh, uh, theater started evolving and it was there for quite some time and later on it was the Romans who came and made it a part of their culture also. Theater was institutionalized as a uh, you know festival for Dionysia. It was for honoring the god Dionysius at that time. And, uh, it was, uh, you know, for example, nowadays it has evolved and today drama is more of like an, uh, what do you say, a conflict of emotions. The initial types of drama that is uh, comedy and tragedy, these refer to the dramas in the 19th century and uh, here the theatrical uh, performance was neither one nor the other. That means uh, dramas did not clearly give out whether it was a comedy or a tragedy. For example, a play or a drama in uh, Ibsen's Dollhouse. This has been directed and performance by many theatre groups and has been studied as a part of literature. So ancient the uh, Greek uh, theatre, they had their own, uh, you know, dramatic way of presentations. Like they had a Greek chorus, that is a group of people who would be sitting and repeating some of the key words that is there in the uh, drama. And they also used very elaborate uh, costumes and masks and other things. And there were some ritualistic characteristics, some repeated actions were done. And usually they were done in an amphitheater, you know, in an open air setting, usually in the evenings where people are more relaxed. And there were also discussions uh, regarding this uh, place. Some of those um, uh, famous uh, dramas that you would have heard about, you know, what is that, Apollo, Agnon, Aristotle, Attica, these are some of the name goes on. Then also there were plays, uh, mythological plays, 
uh, perhaps of uh, Greek mythological gods. And also it depicted the Greek society of that time. That is where I said a satire would be there, where the Greek, uh, you know, the Greek life or the Greek way of living, that was made fun of in a very humorous way. They would want to bring out some of the elements of that. So we can see that most of these uh, dramas were very theatrical in nature with high levels of costumes, uh, masks and other things. And it uh, brought out a larger than life to the uh, front of the audience. Now if you say the most significant playwrights of Greek tragedies, this is uh, Achilles, Sophocles and Euripides. Uh, uh, there is also Ariphones and Meander, I mean uh, here if you can see these three, the first three, uh, they are called as the uh, three greatest of all uh, uh, tragedians because they, most of their uh, dramas are related to uh, a tragic outcome of what was there. Uh, some of them were also lyrical, uh, lyricist or they wrote the drama in a lyrical manner and also they were comic writers. Um, but uh, Greek tragedy is a part of most educational uh, courses. The Greek tragedies are very famous because they follow a very classic structure. And uh, there are very familiar, most people are familiar with their uh, roles of the chorus or the group of people who communicate a story on its own. So it was among the Greeks that the greatest of the writers uh, who actually brought out the beauty of the um, drama. Now it was later that the uh, Romans started becoming, uh, you know, more involved because Rome was at that time politically, they were, um, they were most powerful and uh, they uh, started influencing Greek drama or uh, we could say it is the other way around. The Greek dramas, they put in some more Roman elements that is somewhere around 250 BC. And they uh, brought out the uh, aspect of music, the musical elements like orchestra and singing. Uh, whereas in uh, Greek dramas, it was more of the chorus that is a group of people repeating certain things that is being said. Whereas here, it was more of a use of the uh, singing and orchestra and things along with the drama to make the drama more, uh, you know, interesting. And Roman theatre was influenced by Greek gods, mythological Greek culture, but they also had their uh, expressive things, uh, themes significant to Rome, uh, especially Sicily, the Sicilian society, they were supposed to be a very, uh, you know, classic developed uh, society. Italy in general, as well as classic literature and religious rites. So those days, you know, uh, the prayers to the pagan god, they had a lot of gods, uh, a collection of gods. So for them also, they um, it was also an appreciation of their gods where they made the masks uh, with their ceremonial dancing and they had also a stylistic uh, range of facial expressions. So, uh, so far we have seen about the Greek uh, drama, Greek and Roman influences in ancient uh, theater. I hope it was interesting and you all have understood what we have done so far. Thank you students.